<laughs> now for saying LP and we are and now me playing why I'm again yeah, not be able to go we'll get to that. Um so you remember the whole incident with a doggy biscuit where the the few people playing candy will call Layla by their name coming along the line and even my T V guy thingy got that but it turned out to be called a doggy biscuit. Now I'm quite angry. Guess what? They did it again! This thing on my two thing on the Gavitine Dan called Bake Bar. And it instead, I'm going to title tell you, called Bake It Till You Make It. That's the title of the episode. And in this case, I prefer the original title better to the new one, because it's in fit the a little more, I suppose, and catchier, and a like, parody company, and that kind of parody of something, even though, God, you know, that's in when the captain want is one thing. Twice? Come on, my, my team thing too. It's not just like, it's not even sketchy with a gap to it, which usually trustworthy, you know? I have a captain twice and have done Roman 100th episode. Yeah, that's if they got slack from life wrong. That would have been the worst. And I don't think I can with my little pony yet. Um, or maybe a hack, I don't know. I don't all I paint I don't know all I paint from that kind of stuff that then for you know by the link and you know, the key and etc. So I don't know. But either way, let's forget all that and like with Dog Big just the rest of the code agate is anyway. Him it was written by David Shane. So let's see how he does with time. So in this episode, Bly basically sweet delight in looking business because of one core playing fan opened up near them and they tried to, you know, get customers again mostly with the help of Discount Gordon Ramsey, who was like Dinston Guggen <laughs> rode along the yeah, got playing how they are related. Um meanwhile, we find out Funil had told the parents that he had a doctor and he had to keep up that room of him being a doctor. Um cup plus I think not a lot to analyze here. Spoiler, the general episode. Just time to be 100. It's the introduction of our Blythe Kuggin, who happens to be really special enough, I suppose, but in the end, it is a good normal episode, which is fine. I don't think they really plan that far ahead 100. In fact, Life, they planned it. It definitely represents the show in the 100th way. Um, this one normal episode, again, fine. Didn't, I don't think he didn't expect it to be that special. And we got the finale coming up in a few like, three weeks. So that'll make up for it. Fine. Uh and that could be pretty entertaining. We're again ton of something, not a ton. Main the main part we do kind of born a typical old fashioned better way. And the cup plot we the cup plot we've seen a lot. I mean a lot. I have never against that particular plot going to you know, the other parent go on this. You know, it's like, I don't, I'm neutral to that play. I never seen it terribly. It at really, least, you know, I've got to show that art terribly to begin with. Um, you know, but I don't think I've got it done in a way that, like, boom, my cock off. At best, I'm like, yeah, it's like, alright. And this one, the same thing. But the way they do it, it's kind of entertaining because we had to film a fake video of him being a doctor and a good joke with that. Um, um, although, there's a few elements of the guy that haven't used before, but Kapan is basically kind of like commercial gag me of earlier he and got pet napped with them filming coming. It's done differently. Commercial gag is them filming something and like with pet nap are playing a different role, but um, it gets done differently enough and it's Finny Cat kind of Japanese, but like, like one scene, and it's funny, so. Uh, there's kind of like, quite a bit of like funny stuff, you know. We have life wrapping again. It has nothing on the can wrap, but it's still the making. Then, then, um, and we can go to a great joke about the creepy guy who follow, apparently followed and couldn't even buy anything. And the queen joke is great. Then we can go to a couple of too, like with Ruffle and you know, the Nurk and yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, that's an entertainment value you found here, especially with discount Gordon Ramsay. I can't remember his name. Company Destructo. And it being really entertaining going. Again, being very over the top, but it's fun and you know, they quite have fun that character go. It's like a general entertainment factor if I'm to go up a go. It's not a ton of stuff, necessarily, the kind of thing we have seen before. Oh, and speaking of rehashing and A pop by like, 50 she had to wreck up like, like 
a thing in one part and the cat go to get Fingal a little better. <laughs> so again it's funny how they have him twice but uh um you know and uh oh Kobagako the um, oh, the people who move in I thought they they turned out to be bad guy or biscuit or something like that. Kinda with the kind of didn't completely all almost. Not quite the S thing. But again, they go quite. I think I can unique enough. Especially to do a baking theme. They are baking up good yet, but a pretty good one. And but um I like when they weren't bad guy. So got again it's competition. Like, like in the end, you know, they, I like that. It could have made it. You know, I think that. You know, again, I think it's more interesting if it's just normal competition. Nothing really evil out there. Go in general, kind of very entertaining. Not quite substantial, but funny. A lot of good jokes they make. And high energy with all the attempts. You know, they make and they have to get from spotlight. You know, again, it's nice with you. Know, she did not get to do that much, but she's not that important of the character, so I don't care. Um, her own parents are voiced by, um, I believe Kim Yevon Kim Tavon Tavon fucking Jermaine, which is, they good range on them, once again, you got some range on them, and she was got point of what, go, go, and uh, the, the pony one, uh, from today, go, it's not a whole lot to analyze here, it's more like, do you find it, for, you find it funny, or you don't, and you can ignore an element that might have been used before, but it, it seems like enough in the main plot, you know, and a couple of, you can go cliche, we haven't seen a show before. Um, we've seen a lot of parents, we've seen a guy in the so, We have Ruckle parents, we found Black Butter, we got Big Butter, now we have Funeo parents, that's the fourth one. Hmm, and we got, like, Cuggan, we got more family tie there, so, think back we're all leading somewhere? Probably. Okay, I guess we'll find out in a few weeks when we get to Valley or whatever coming before that. But, um, they got a whole thing like, I mean, for a hundred episode, it's just normal, but I think it worked with a hundred episode, honestly, and, um, we can, look, um, we can pretty good. Again, it was very entertaining, high energy, good joke, very, you know, um, get character, one-off character, he's fun, and, you know, and, you know, and it got a cute ending as well, again. Um, it's just nice, you know, fun episode to watch, nothing creepy and amazing, but, you know, find out just a fun episode as well. We have had a really great one, I think at least themed, a uh, few came close, I think. But to be fair, my opinion can change, I and mean, the pie will change when I have to rewatch it again. So, but hey, you know, okay, as long as, you know, one of the, f one of the finale is good, on that one, great, I don't care. Anyway, I don't think I have a whole lot more to say, I'm gonna have a whole lot to glean from now, on the first viewing, I'm sure. When I watch it again, I'll find things to nitpick. <laughs> Or something like that, but it's just reviewing. It's a fun episode. I think I just let my anger at the start, you know, being the title. Yeah, I can't believe that happened again. If that happened one more time, I But as far as the Shane go, I can't remember what he did, so I can't really say. Um, again, they're a little pitch up a horror, but the only one I remember. Um, Vicky had the other one. Nip me? I believe and pitch perfect, I think. Um I hmm, I still think we'll put a horn the best when he did so far, so take that for the corner so um yeah, good episode. Um Happy one hundred so yeah. <laughs> uh we'll cover you for in a few weeks. Um after that week in the pony video I did say I didn't mention that for pony I'm rushing so I can get to watching that. So that be pony get called Gaddle 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 Row and wreck. I get the wreck part, mm -hmm. but the cattle row part brings mm -hmm, me off. It's a rarity I've gone. Um, but we'll get that to the people. Pet shop will call LPS the musical. I can move. That means it'll be club code? Maybe. I don't find a TV thing. It's going to go pet shop the musical, but on the thing, it's LPS the musical. <laughs> I need more of that. But not that matter. It's a pipe game. Pet shop. I do want to be club code or not. Um, but we have to be comfortable today for Pony, so that'd be kind of nice. Um, but hey, okay. we were waiting, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, funny thing about that episode is that it kind of appeared out of nowhere because we, on the schedule thing, we're going to gap for next week, but people think, okay, we're skipping a week, okay, fine. Uh, but for any schedule, the finale for June 4th, but it don't get up going 20, it get the uncle number, but it get 24, 25, and like, the heck are supposed to be 20 kick up what's going on? But I'm committing. Then randomly, that up next week appeared like, in that slot. I'm like, 
the heck where that would come from? The effect of the problem, now we have the 20 gig. That's random. Again, that that guy kind of backing up again, so I think we should start trending that guy in. So, good title. But anyway, I'm new next week for all that fun. <laughs> and once again, happy heartwarming and happy 100th of the code. And see you Monday for a clacky vlog on the back window. Yes!